It's a small world after all and getting smaller all the time. As we rely more and more on a global economy, many are seeking an education that reflects that global approach. Today, we're going to learn more about the German School of Connecticut in Stanford. We're joined by Principal Dr. Renate Ludani and Assistant Principal Stephanie Mischer. Thank you so much for being with us. Hello. Hello. How are you? <laughs> I'm yes. fine, thank you. Tell me how long the German school has been in existence. The school was created in uh, 1977 mm -hmm. and it opened its doors 1978. So we are so practically 30 years in existence. Oh, wow. Yeah. And it's just a weekend school, right? It's not a full time. Yes. Important that you say weekend because we want the children in the morning rested and not uh, 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 an add on after a long school day. Mm -hmm. Children and teachers need to be rested, need to be prepared, need to be ready to do the work, and then at 12 o'clock it's finished. They can go home, take lunch, and play. And relax. So, Stephanie, they, the kids will have a traditional schooling during the week, Monday through Friday. Yes, and then in addition to the traditional school, they come 30 weekends, um, 30 Saturdays to the German school. Mm -hmm and um, learn that there the language and also um, German culture. And when I say German, I don't mean just Germany. This includes Swiss culture, Austrian, Liechtenstein, and also a bigger approach. Uh, we do some European culture mm -hmm. and yeah. So what are the different, is it a traditional sort of subject structure? When the kids come on Saturday morning, do they have certain classes, or is it three hours of sort of floating in and out of different subjects? It's floating in and out. It's with one classroom teacher, and the day starts at 9.30, and then we have a 15-minute break, and then um, it's finished at 12.15. But that day includes some music, um, it includes grammar, it includes writing, a lot of different activities, um, cultural things. Mm -hmm. And then we also have um, events like f before Christmas we have a Christmas play or at the end of the year we have a picnic where all the parents are invited and um, we do some poetry, uh, poetry recitation. Mm -hmm. Dr. Ludani, who are the kids that come to the German school? The kids are, we have a two-pronged approach. A, kids come from families that might have nothing to do with Germany. Uh, they want just to learn because we are the only such institution in the, in the state of Connecticut. Mm -hmm. Or they are children from uh, what we call sometimes heritage learners, where there is a German heritage in the family and they want to go back and uh, speak and learn and know about the language and culture of their, their, their background. Or it is children who are here with their parents on, on location because parents work one, two, three, four years here for German companies. There are many, 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 many of those in the, in the state of Connecticut. Uh, and they want to go back and enter again the German-speaking school systems. Ah, or so this so is to sort of keep them up to keep date. Keep them up to date, which is very important. Homeland. And I might want to enter. Yes, we do float in and out as far as uh, our, our uh, curriculum is concerned, but we guide ourselves by the American guidelines. They, are, they exist uh, here and also by the what we call Referenzrahmen, that's uh, guidelines that the Europeans have these days uh, by which they uh, instruct foreign languages. What are the ages of the kids? The ages of the kids, as Stephanie just said, we, take, we have a mommy and daddy and me class, uh -huh. the very little ones, <laughs> and then officially they start school at, with three years of age. Very important, it's also uh, an advantage of our school, they can start with three years of, of, of age uh, and then stay with us and many, many do all the way through high school. Oh, really? through high school. How many students and total do you have at school? We have 350 students on two campuses besides the yeah. campus in Stanford, there's a second one in West Hartford. And if somebody were interested in enrolling their child, what should they do? They should come. First of all, they go to our website, www.germanschoolct.org, uh, and get uh, information there. There's a registration form on which they can pull down, fill it in, send it in. Of course, pay for it, which is also important. Um, uh, and Or call 
us. The number is 237922795 if they need additional information. Many do. Um, and I know you have lots of information. I've got brochures here, all sorts yes, of great things you yes, can send them. We yes. also have a registration day, which is always the Saturday in, um, that is Labor Day weekend. Mm -hmm. Great. Well, I'm sure that's, that information is all on the website. Yes. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much for joining us and giving us more information. I'm sure there are some people who didn't even know that the German school existed, but they're happy to do so now. Absolutely. Maybe we can go online and check you out and perhaps find a few more students. Thank you both yeah. so much for being here. And we so appreciate it. Thank you Thank for you having us. Much. You're welcome. <laughs> and be sure to stay right here on News 12 Connecticut. Coming up.